people have requested that I cover the topic rounding. So today I'm going to talk you through rounding to three significant figures. So this is something that you have to do all the time when you're doing maths calculations. In your exam questions, they'll ask you to round in a certain way. So if you don't know how to round, you might lose some significant marks in the paper. So when we're rounding to three significant figures, it means we want to have three real numbers in our answer. So let's have a look at the first question. If I'm rounding this to three significant figures, I start counting from the beginning here. So one, two, three. And I have to check the fourth number to see if it rounds that third one up or not. Now, a number only rounds the one next to it up if it's five or bigger than five. So because this number is five, it rounds that number up one. So it becomes a five. So I've got two, three, five. I can't just leave it like that because remember we're rounding. We're just rounding the number a little bit. If I leave it like this, it's a completely different number. So these two numbers, they're still there, but they turn into zeros. So now I have rounded the number to three significant figures. I've got three figures here and these two numbers turn into zeros. All right, let's look at the second one. So again, if I'm rounding to three significant figures, I have to check the fourth one to see if it rounds the third one up or not. So this time, because the number is smaller than five, it doesn't round this number up. So this one stays as it is. So we've got five, four, two, but just like before, these two numbers turn into zeros. So now I've got one, two, three significant figures. All right, now on to number three. So again, start counting from the beginning. So one, two, three figures. And again, we check the fourth one to see if it rounds the one here up a number or not. So because it's bigger than five, remember five or bigger than five always rounds up, it means this number is rounded up one, so to the number two. So we've got 2.32. Now, in the previous two, these two numbers turn to zeros, but when it's after a decimal, we don't need to do that. It's not wrong, it's still the same number, but we don't need to write those zeros if it's after the decimal. So we just leave that one like that. That's already three significant figures. Now, on to number four. So again, check the fourth one to see if it rounds the third one up. And it does because this number is bigger than five. So this rounds up to six, this number here. So we've got 14.6. And just like in the example before, because this number is after the decimal, we don't need to write a zero. Now here, in this example, again, I check the fourth figure and the number two doesn't round this number up, so it stays the same. So this one is just left as 37.1. And again, because they're after the decimal, we don't write zero, zero, we just leave it like that. Now this one here is a little bit different because normally we start counting from the first digit. But when the zeros are at the front like this, they don't count as real figures. So we start counting from the first real figure. So this one here. So we count one, two, three, and we check the fourth one to see if it rounds the third one up. So because it's the number five, it rounds this number here up to six. So everything else stays the same because remember, we're just rounding it. We're not changing the number to 236. It's still the same number. So it's 0 0.00. Then we have the 236. And because it's after the decimal, we don't need to add another zero at the end. All right, now let's look at this one here. So again, Remember, you start counting from the first real number, the first real figure, which is this one. So one, two, three. The fourth number is smaller than five, so it doesn't round this value up. So this stays the same. So it's just 0 0.0899. Okay, hopefully you're starting to get the hang of this. I'm gonna do a few harder ones next. Okay, so in these last few examples, I'm going to continue rounding to three significant figures. So in the first one, one, two, three figures, and again, I'm going to check 
the fourth figure. And because it's the number five, it rounds this number nine up one. So the number that comes after the number nine is the number 10. But I can't just squeeze in the number 10 here because then I'm gonna have an extra number. So what happens is that nine changes to a zero and this one is added to the digit here. So seven plus one gives me eight. So the final answer is 6,800 because remember this last digit also turns into a zero. So I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. I'm going to check the fourth figure to see if it rounds the third one. And again, it's bigger than five, so it rounds that digit here up one. So the number after nine is 10, but we can't just squeeze in the number 10. That one is added to the digit here, so it becomes four. So I've got five, four, Remember that nine became a zero, and then these two at the end also turn into zeros. All right, and the next one. Remember earlier I said when the zeros are at the beginning of the number, they don't count as significant figures, and the same at the end. Well, when they're in between, they do count. So if I'm counting to three significant figures, I'm counting one, two, three, and I'm including that as one, as one of my significant figures. So when the zero is wedged between other numbers, it does count as a, as a significant figure. We can't skip it, it is included. So we're going to count one, two, three, and just like in the other ones, we check the fourth figure, and the seven is bigger than five, so it rounds this digit here up to the number six. So it becomes 0.06. And finally, finally, the last one. So we check the fourth figure again, and the five rounds that six up to seven. So I've got eight, zero, seven. And just like in the examples from earlier, all of these digits have to turn into zeros. So we've got one, two, three, four numbers there, so I need to add four zeros. So that's rounding to three significant figures. You might want to practice rounding to two significant figures, one significant figure, and also decimal places. I will have some other videos on rounding coming up soon.